Hello everyone, hello, we are at the end of May. The end the, the month of May has ju is just walking away. I think I'm a few minutes to midnight. That means I'm going to see a new day, a new month. I'll pray for you. So karibu sana kwenye channel yangu. Welcome to my channel. It is Njeri Kabiru. Yes, Jerry Wakafiro. I'm so delighted to have you. If you're new to this channel, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing. I mean, a thousand to hit like yesterday. Thank you so much for subscribing. For the VIPs, VIPs are the ones who have subscribed. They leave a comment or a thumbs up and they always watch and share about this channel. That means you have a VIP membership in this channel. Thank you. After that, we don't have any other. Everyone is a VIP. <laughs> so anyway, I have this project that I did in the last video and the other video. You should see this bottle when there is no light. It just, you know, sitting in a room that is dark and then there is a light. That just shows you how life is in the middle of the darkness. There must be light. So I'm excited for today's project. Here we, I have already prepared. I'm going to take you through on what we are doing on this project. So let me go straight to the video and I see you at the end of this video. This paper mache was a bit light. Um, but if you want to know more about paper mache, these are servants, I glued them. I did a video about that. I'm gonna link it at the end of this video so you can go and watch how you can do the paper mache on the bottle. It makes the painting of a bottle much more easier. So my goal is to have the three bottles like that and write some words on it. I'm going to write Kenya, my motherland, celebrating 1st of June. So for this project, at first, I took a carton. I did cut out letters, different letters like this. After cutting out the, the letters, I used blade and scissors. I also, the, the video before this was about how to create these letters. So you can go and watch it. So um, after I cut the letters, I then cut out from this. It's not a manila paper exact. It's not heavy and it's not flip chart paper. It's in between that. And I got that at textbook center. So after that, I cut out this letter. I take this and I just cut it out to fit it. So then I use binding glue. If you, I did a review about binding glue. There's so much you can do with it. Um, and it was my first time to see a binding glue. It's always tricky to open it, so give me a minute. Every time I close it, I have to open it with the scissor, the binding glue, though when it comes to sticking paper on something, it's really, really good. It's paper binding glue, book binding glue. I also got it at textbook center. So I always take the, the flat brush. You know, there are two types of brush. There's a round brush and there's a flat brush. Round brush, I like painting with it. Flat brush, I like uh, using it on, when I'm using the glue, like to apply the glue, it's much more easier. And the good thing with the binding glue, once I'm done, I just rinse off the, the glue from the brush and we are good to go. I can reuse it. So I go take the papers and there we go. Uh, for me, I go an extra mile to turn it around and then I take these small scissors and trim it to fit what I really, really want. Because I don't want the, pa the, the paper to be so big and take up so much space. And I know it might sound like a foreign language to if you don't practice it, you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. So try um, to do this. And when you do this, tag me. I'm Jerry Kaviru on Facebook. But also leave a comment on my channel and let me know what you 
would want to hear from me in terms of art your comments are very very important so I trim it that way there you go so I've done so many letters as this letter dries I'm putting it aside to dry but drying takes very few minutes down below let me know what you think about this project and the next project i am so excited about you have to watch the next project it's going to be different from what i have done usually so anyway uh it's it's what it's like almost one in the morning i'm so sleepy you know when i was doing kenya i did ka like kanye <laughs> And then I realized what's wrong with me. I really need to sleep. I haven't been sleeping well for some days. And I have a long day tomorrow, a long evening tomorrow, and a long day the next day. So I need to sleep. But before I sleep, I want to thank you so much for not jumping, jumping in between the video, for watching from beginning to the end. You're my hero. You're my freedom fighter fighting for my freedom. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm going to say ciao and bye. And I will see you later. Good night. Good morning. I don't know. Whatever time you watch this. Bye. Ciao.